Hi, this is Shadi. So yesterday there was the Georgian team seminar here in France and there was eight of them. So I cannot express just how lucky I am to be able to attend such a seminar. So you would think uh, coming into this, I was expecting that it was gonna be very physical. They're gonna teach us a lot of things based on strength, but no, I'll get to that later. But look, I got to meet some of the best in the world. They were so uh, kind, they were so approachable, uh, very motivating, and just overall very kind and down-to-earth people. I just absolutely loved it. I even got to do randori with Luca, world champion, that will be on Patreon. So I thought I was gonna get you know, go into this seminar. There's a lot of violent gripping and just a lot of things based on physical effort. That's not actually true. Yes, the gripping is different, but everything else, you can actually be a very uh, mobile guy and actually just practice them. So here you see uh, Lasha, Shakta, Tuashvili. This also Togari and Sasai relationship that he uh, explained. It's, um, it's not something out of the ordinary or very Georgian, but his words were very motivating now let's take a look at olympic champion how he explained the soto makikomi now you don't have to get that huge lift as some of people think that you have to but um it's all in the grip so you actually pull everything towards you and when you go in from that cross grip you actually go around kind of like cupping the lat in a sense not just straight down you don't need to do that so here he explains that you create that space and then bring in to you and rotate around before you rotate your hips now here you see he goes down on one knee and then the knee that is down is the knee that he goes over you don't have to load someone on your hips this is a sacrificing technique really no need to go and lift someone so you see he goes around the back almost diagonal pulls the sleeve really tight into him and here he rotates like a 180 degree but one knee is down and then he roll over no need to lift anyone or exert a lot of strength now this one i really liked it actually this is my suradze the current world champion in the minus 90 so he says his ogoshi is actually a pulling so you pull someone in instead of going into someone and squaring your hips you actually pull in you have one leg forward which actually if you think about it it makes it an ukigoshi and I'll explain it so he says that you have to pull someone in rotate and bring in your arms so you rotate your ankles you have one leg forward they're not squared like an ogoshi and then they hit your hips and they go over. This is the main difference between ogoshi and ukigoshi. So you just pull in someone into you, you absorb them, rotate your ankles, and they go over your hips. There's no big lift. There's no much. There's not much strength involved. So let me explain. So ukigoshi here, you you can see, you can see that one leg is forward and he is pulling someone into him and they hit the hips and they go over so you don't actually need to lift them onto them and look at the rotation of the ankles and one leg is forward and here they hit the hips and they go over so this is classical ukigoshi a lot of people don't understand truly the nuances between ogoshi and ukigoshi so here you can see you enter with ogoshi place your hips your legs are parallel and then you load them onto your hips and then you throw them over that's the big difference it's not a you don't create that space so you can pull them in you create that space so you go in don't absorb them in now here for example um, there is going to be a uh, example where he actually rotates but it's going to be different so here you see you enter in this is classical ogoshi now for example here when he rotate it's like a moving nagekomi you see the legs are parallel 
while this one here they are in front and the other one you actually put your legs parallel and lift up here you absorb them and then you, they, you make them go over your hips that's the difference so what he explains was a beautiful ukigoshi now let's take a look at tato he i would say out of all of them he was the most physical in, in terms of techniques even watching him do randori with others he was just insane a beast so this one here belt grip like belt wrestling very much like a lot of wrestling styles one leg over one leg under you tuck their elbow in you close it and then you you control that arm with the, where your arm is over and then what you do is bend your knees go over for a kosoto gake and then you backstep to the side so you really drive forward that's that's what's going to give you that momentum for the ura nage so here he's like really closing his hands in so he can control that arm and then he drives forward then back steps before he launches his opponent so you have to have your knees bent at all times that's very important then here you thrust with the hips and they will go over it can be very dangerous if you know someone is very big and that leg can get trapped now when they defend it by putting their leg back if they don't want it to get stuck you actually just go down on your knees and drive with an inner reap and go over like an o uchi gari so this is a they always explain those you know back and forth it, if it doesn't go that direction it goes the other way like lasha with his osoto gari and sasai if they bend over so here you can see if they take their leg back you actually just use that space that they created for you to go down and reap from the inside so um, not a big fan of this type of judo but uh, I'm sure a lot of people would like the style to really keep someone close and control the torso and really just drive someone and exert and show off their strength and technique so again not really my judo but um, that's you know people have preferences now this counter is actually quite nice so someone with the Georgian grip going over for Kouchi Makikomi so he explains here that you grab uh, the belt and the sleeve you bring them closer and then you wheel him over you don't really need the leg it's just there to block but you don't actually need it it's really the wheeling motion of the arms like here this is classical Kouchi Gaishi but again look at the wheel shape that the arms make so it's a hand technique um, I would say the one that Bikauri showed it's it's somewhere between Sasai and this one but I would say it's more of a Kochi Geshi and finally I'll leave you with this demonstration of Georgian wrestling thank you <laughs>